let's say hypothetically speaking some random person came up to you and told you that if you didn't start to pursue your dreams today like if you didn't make that decision today then it would be your last day to have ever even tried like today is your last day to try what would you do your days of sitting home and twiddling your thumbs and wasting time worried about god knows what ends today i know that a million doubts and questions are popping up in your head right now and that's good like keep the questions coming instead of constantly saying how can i do that how is that possible like doubtfully start actually asking yourself or start seeking the resources to tell you how you're actually going to do that instead of saying how could i do that start asking intentionally how can i start i was watching oprah the other day and in one of her speeches she's talking about how she literally used to study the lives of people that were successful before she got famous whatever it is that you want to do whatever that next step is start asking how you can do that next step start looking for loopholes start studying people start studying things that you want to know about like instead of going on social media go on google and look it up as a matter of fact go to the library take a book out about it we used to not have as many resources to learn at one point as we do now and that brings us to number two get inspired instead of waking up and looking at your phone and going on social media and scrolling wake up and look up inspirational videos get inspired inspiration is the cure to most negative emotions at least for me it is and you know what things aren't always rainbow and butterflies over here one morning it'll be joe dispenza another morning it's jordan peterson last night it was layla harmozy telling me how to get rich and how to start a business i i have no intention of starting a business I, i'm just like learning about it the other day, it was Selena Gomez on a podcast interview. And then it'll be Oprah. If you can't open your eyes, then get someone else to do it for you. Next, don't even try to tell me that your last days here on this earth, you're going to be like, you know what? I am so thankful. I did such an act of service by hiding myself so that other people could just feel comfortable. I, I was so considerate when I did that. And you know what? me not pursuing my dreams and going after what I want, that was worth it. <laughs> you cannot tell me one successful person whose name was not being torn apart. No one whose opinion worth caring about is going to have anything to say. If you're holding yourself back because of people from your past and how they made you feel, let's get one thing straight here. Whose life is it? You know what? As a matter of fact, when you start caring about what they're going to think so much since you want to care so much, think about the looks on their faces when you do it. Be the person you would look up to. Like, and I mean really be that person. Like, dress like that person, talk like that person, act like that person, think like that person. When you think of someone that you would role model, that you, that you would look up to, your natural inclination would be to model them. Do that every single day. Think about that person, seriously. And if you wouldn't look up to it, then you don't do it. Another thing you need to start doing is learning how to follow your intuition. And it's not rocket science. That doubtful voice in your head, that's the analytical mind. The next time you have one of these thoughts arise, trying to bring you down, this annoying roommate you have in your head, the next time you have one of those doubtful thoughts or something telling you that something's scary about whatever you're going to do, when, when you have that pop up in your mind, I need you to actually ask yourself if you feel scared. Do you actually or is your mind saying it? You want the things you want for a reason. It was made for you. A doubtful voice in your head, that thing doesn't know what it's toy out half the time. It, it never stops. It always needs to settle down somewhere and come to some conclusion before it shuts up and then it's on to the next thing. You want your dreams. You want to pursue your passions. You want to follow your heart. So do it. Consciously, you are in control of your body. 
that that voice in your head is not in control of your body or your actions. Once you start acting more, it shuts up. I don't have time to sit here and visualize all day. I daydream as I'm driving. I don't care about the traffic. When something that I don't like is happening around me, this is what people mean when they tell you to not react to your reality. When these things are going on, you just have to think, it's okay, it'll pass because I'm on the way to where I wanna be. So like, this is just fine. You're not gonna be like sitting there without a reaction but at the end of the day, you know that it's just a moment in time. Oh, well, I'm observing my thoughts. It's it, like they're literally just words going on in my head. I ignore them and I keep moving. This isn't manifesting. This is standing on business. Enough with the manifesting. No, 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 it's manifested. But in order to keep your mind going to that place, keep daydreaming. There's some times that I'm done driving and I'm like, I thought I was in Bali. Like I forgot I was even here. And traffic and this dream this goal of yours whatever it is that you want to do I'm sure that it could definitely help people so if anything you're being selfish by not showing up and contributing whatever you love or your passion to the world let's be real you know that it could somehow help people that would get inspired by you when you do that whatever higher power you believe in I believe in God God loves that the universe loves that Think about it. We, these successful people, they somehow did that. They somehow found a way to help people with whatever they did. You know what? These people from your past, these people that you know now, these people in your life now, or these people that you're afraid of judging you, whatever. Okay, great. You can't help them. You can't contribute to them. You can't give value to them. Then go give it to the world. And that brings today's lesson to an end. I hope that you took something away from this. But first, remember, what would you do if someone was to walk up to you wherever you are right now? And it's not, it's not this woo-woo thing. This is hypothetically real. Think about this, really. If someone said to you, you don't start today, then you can never start. What would you do? And now go do that.